taon-taon mula 1987, naglalabas ang Forbes ng listahan ng pinakamayayamang individual sa buong mundo. Base ang kanilang ranking o report sa combined assets ng mga business moguls na ito. Kasama sa assets na ito ang cash, cash equivalents, real estate, investments, stakes sa private or public company, and business or personal properties like jewelries, arts, expensive wine, at marami pang iba. Nito nga lamang April 3, 2024, nilabas ng Forbes ang kanilang annual World's Richest People. Forbes identified 2,781 billionaires around the globe. They are the 1% of the world's population. 16 Filipinos made it to the Forbes Billionaires List. Sino-sino nga ba ang pinakamayayaman sa Pilipinas? Kilalanin natin sila. Dito lang yan sa The Competitive Investor Channel. If it's inspiring stories, trivia, and tips and tricks to be successful, it's The Competitive Investor Channel. Kaya naman, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell para lagi kang una sa mga content katulad nito. At kung gusto mong mas mauna, then be part of our competitive fam. Interact with other competitive fam through live chat a shoutout, and loyalty badges for only 79 pesos. Pero kung gusto mo talagang maging competitive at unang-una ka sa aming mga content, then for only 99 pesos, magagawa mo yan. Be an official part of the competitive family at kasama ka namin sa bawat success sa buhay. At sa laki ng ating pamilya, mas dadami pa ang ating inspiring videos na talaga namang kapupulutan natin ng mga aral. At kung hindi ka pa ready maging parte ng Competitive Fam pero gusto mo maging parte ng aming weekly content, collaborate with us! Promote your businesses and service on our platform with our 76,000 loyal subscribers and hundreds of thousands up to million viewers. The Competitive Investor Channel ang perfect place for you and your business. Sounds interesting? Drop a message in our Facebook and email in the description box below. Let's start with number 10. Talaga nga namang bida ang saya kung ikaw ay may 1.5 billion US dollars total net worth at pang sampu ka sa pinakamayamang Pilipino sa buong Pilipinas. At hindi lang yan, bida ang saya talaga if Forbes also ranks you among the 2,700 wealthiest individuals on earth. Jollibee Food Corporation or JFC Chairman and Founder Tony Tan Kak Chong is our 10th wealthiest Filipino. Under JFC, Tony Tan Kak Chong owns several other businesses and food chains. JFC a majority shareholder and operator ng marami sa fast food chains sa Pilipinas. Kasama na dyan ang Chow King, Greenwich, Red Ribbon, Philippine Franchise of Burger King, Fo24, Team Ho One, Panda Express, Highlands Coffee, Hard Rock Cafe, Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf, and confectionery stores kagaya ng Red Ribbon at Dunkin' Donuts. Siyempre, kasama rin sa line ng food chain ni Tony Tan Kak Chong ang Mang Inasal, which was originally founded by Injap Sia II. Ngayon, si Injap Sia ay business partner na ni Tony Tan Kak Chong sa kaniyang real estate arm company na Double Dragon Properties Corporation. Famously known ang Double Dragon Properties sa kanilang building sa Pasay, Metro Manila. Bukod sa Double Dragon Buildings na ito sa Pasay, ang Double Dragon Properties rin ang developer behind the City Mall na isang growing shopping mall chain sa bansa. Also in real estate and fast food chain industry is our ninth wealthiest Filipino. Ang kalaban lang naman ng Jollibee ang nasa ninth spot. With an estimated 2 billion US dollars net worth, Andrew Tan is the ninth wealthiest Filipino. Under the Alliance Group, Andrew Tan is the operator of McDonald's Philippines. Kasama rin sa subsidiaries ng Alliance Group, ang hindi mawawala sa mga birthday yan na MP o Emperador. At hotels gaya ng Sheraton Hotel, Hilton Manila, Marriott Hotel, Holiday Inn Express, at Courtyard by Marriott Iloilo. At present, Alliance Group is led by Andrew Tan's son, Kevin Tan. Siyempre, hindi lang McDonald's. Donald's ang main contributor sa yaman ni Andrew Tan, malaking bahagi ng kaniyang yaman ng real estate company na Mega World Corporation. Ipinagmamalaki ng Mega World Corporation sa kanilang company website na sila ang biggest residential condominium developers sa Pilipinas. True to their word, Mega World developed 65 residential towers in Manila, Pampanga, Cavite, Batangas. 
Rizal, Laguna, Bacolod, Boracay, Iloilo at Cebu. Bukod sa condominiums, Mega World din ang biggest office space developer sa bansa. Gumagawa na rin ng pangalan sa industriya ng shopping mall chain ang Mega World starting with their lifestyle and community malls. Ang isa sa pinakasikat nila mga mall ay ang Eastwood Mall sa Quezon City, ang Town Malls at ang Lucky Chinatown sa Binondo. And speaking of malls, securing her spot in the wealthiest Filipino list is none other than Elizabeth C. Of course, we are all too familiar with the C name. Sino ba naman ang hindi nakakakilala sa kanila when they own the biggest shopping mall chain not only in the Philippines but in Asia? Pangalawa sa anim na anak ng 11-time Philippines wealthiest individual Henry C. si Elizabeth C. Upon the death of Henry C., each C child has 2.4 billion each in net worth. At present, with an estimated 2 billion US dollars in net worth, Elizabeth C. acts as the SM Prime Advisor, President, and Chairman of SM Hotel and Conventions Corporation. Kasama sa properties ng SM Hotel and Conventions Corporation ang Conrad Manila, Lanson Place Mall of Asia, Taal Vista Hotel, Pico Sands Hotel, Park Inn by Radisson in Bacolod, Clark, Davao, Iloilo at North Edsa. Kasama rin sa properties nito ang SMX Convention Halls sa iba't ibang panig ng bansa, Mega Trade Hall at Sky Hall Seaside Cebu. Another C has made it on our list. In fact, as a little teaser on what to expect on our list, all six of C siblings are here. Abangan nyo na lang kung pang ilan sila sa ating wealthiest Filipino list and what else makes them filthy rich. At dapat nyo na rin abangan ang mga ilalabas naming mga content sa pinakabagong trends and lifestyle channel dito sa YouTube. The Competitive Investor Channel presents The Universalist, featuring topics in politics, business, trends, and many more. Abangan nyo yan, competitive fam! Introducing our 7th wealthiest Filipino is none other than Teresita C. Coson, famously known as TSC or simply Tessie, with 2.3 billion US dollars. Si Tessie ang panganay sa anim na magkakapatid na C. Bilang panganay, bago pa man pumanaw ang amang si Henry C., si TSC na ang inaasahan ng mga experts at key players sa business world bilang heir apparent ng SM Empire. Ngayon, TSC is the vice chairwoman of SMIC, SM Foundation and Chairman of Banco de Oro Unibank o BDO. Katulad ng kanyang nakababatang kapatid na si Elizabeth, si Tessie ay advisor of the board din ng SM Prime Holdings. Bago naging Vice Chairman ng SMIC at Chairman ng BDO, si Tessie ang may hawak ng SM Retail Group na siyang nag-handle ng department store chain ng pamilya. Ayon pa sa media at business experts, si Tessie ang responsible sa pagpapalago ng retail stores ng pamilya from 10 stores in 1990 to 41 stores by the time she stepped down in 2010. At kung si Tessie ang media darling sa magkakapatid na si, ang lesser known si sibling naman na si Harley C closes the first half of our 10 wealthiest Filipino. With 2.4 billion US dollars, the youngest of the C siblings is our 6th wealthiest Filipino. Director ng iba't ibang branches o arm ng family conglomerate si Harley C. Si Harley ang executive director ng SM Investments, director of China Bank, and co-vice chairman and treasurer of SM Retail Group. At alam nyo ba na Harley made it to the wealthiest Filipino list at pang top 6 pa nga despite selling a large portion of his shares in SM Investments. Ayon sa report ng Billionario.com last June 2023, nagbenta si Harley C. ng total of 75,070 SM shares at a price range of 900 to 929 pesos. Sa kabila ng malaking shares na kanyang binenta, mayroon pa ring 86 billion pesos worth of SM shares si Harley. Tying in on our fifth spot of wealthiest Filipino are Lucio Tan and two of the C siblings, Herbert C and Henry C Jr. All with 2.5 billion dollars net worth each. Let's start off with Lucio Tan. Lucio Tan gets a huge amount of his wealth thanks to LT Group's diverse investments. Kilala si Lucio Tan dahil sa kanyang chairmanship sa flag carrier ng bansa, Philippine Airline. Under LT Group din ang Philippine National Bank, University of the East, 
Maranao Hotels and Resort Corporation. At kung si Andrew Tan ay may emperador, si Lucio Tan naman ay may Tanduay. Sa ilalim pa rin ng LT Group, Lucio Tan owns Tanduay Distillers Incorporated. Bukod sa Tanduay, may alcoholic beverages din si Tan under the Asia Brewery Incorporated gaya ng Colt 45 at B&B Pale Pilsen. Asia Brewery rin ang distributor ng Asahi Super Dry, Heineken at Tiger Beer dito sa Pilipinas. Ang sikat din na Nesty, Sunkist Drinks, Pascual Dairies, Absolute at Summit Water ay from Asia Brewery. Fortune Tobacco Corporation is also a subsidiary of LT Group including Philip Morris Philippines. At dahil nga diversified ang assets ni Lucio Tan, syempre hindi siya mawawala sa real estate industry. Nandito ang Aton Properties, mix ng office buildings, retail space, high-rise residential buildings at townships ang properties ng Eton. Umangat ng 5 places above si Lucio Tan sa ranking. From the 10th spot ng 2023, ngayong 2024 ay nasa 5th spot na siya. Hindi rin ito nakakagulat dahil last year, karamihan sa mga businesses ni Lucio Tan under the LT Group ay tumaas ang net income. Gaya na lang ng PAL na nakapagtala ng 92% increase sa kanilang net income last 2023. Ayon sa disclosure ng PAL, kumita ng hindi bababa sa 21 billion pesos ang kumpanya. Higit na mas mataas sa 11 billion pesos net income nito noong 2022. Lumaki din ang yaman ng katay ni Lucio Tan sa 5th spot ng wealthiest Filipino. From 2.4 billion last 2023, ngayon ay 2.5 billion dollars na ang estimated net worth ni Herbert C. Si Herbert ang pangalawa sa bunsong anak ni Henry C. Si Herbert ang naka-assign sa supermarket retail branch or arm ng pamilya. Siya ang chairman ng Super Value Incorporated, Super Shopping Market Incorporated at Sanford Marketing Corporation. Sa mga hindi nakakaalam, ang Super Value Incorporated ang may hawak ng supermarkets ng SM Group. Bukod dito, director din si Herbert ng Alpha Mart at China Banking Corporation at SM Prime, ang real estate arm ng SM Group. Katulad ng kanyang mga kapatid na nabanggit natin kanina, advisor of the board din si Herbert ng SM Investments. Another C is on the fifth spot, ang katokayo at junior ng late magnet na si Henry C. With an estimated net worth of $2.5 billion as well, we have Henry C. Jr. Bukod sa pagiging Henry C. Jr., nakilala si Henry Jr. dahil sa exemplary portfolio nito sa SMDC o SM Development Corporation bago ito na-merge na SM Prime. Ngayon, he serves as the chairman of SM Prime since 2014. Bukod sa real estate, may ventures din si Henry Jr. sa power industry. Last April 2022, SM Investments acquired Philippine Geothermal Production in a whopping $304 million deal. Siya rin ang vice chairman ng NGCP o ang National Grid Corporation of the Philippines. Outside the skirts of the family business, may ibubuga rin naman si Henry Jr. Last 2017, pinasok ni Henry Jr. ang cement industry kung saan na itatag niya ang Big Boss Cement. And the last of the six C siblings on the list, securing his spot on the wealthiest Filipino is no other than Hans C with 2.6 billion net worth. Virtually retired na sa business si Hans but he still made it to our top 4. Galing ang 2.6 billion net worth ni Hans sa kanyang shares and positions sa SM Group. Siya ang executive chairman ng SM Prime, China Banking Corporation at National University. Si Hans din ang sinasabing sustainable hero sa kanila magkakapatid. Siya ang nag-push ng sustainable initiatives ng SM Group. Una rito ang installation ng solar panels sa SM North na sinasabing biggest solar panel installation sa Pilipinas noong 2014. Sa labas ng boardroom, si Hans Sia ang sole Filipino member ng United Nations International Strategy for Disaster Resilient Societies. Si Hans din ang co-chairman ng National Resilience Council. Nabanggit natin kanina na kasama ang jewelries at precious art pieces sa sinusukat para mabilang net worth ng isang tao. In the case of Hans, kasama sa kanyang net worth ang kanyang art collection. Isang avid art collector kasi si Hans. Ang paborito niyang kolektahin ay ang pieces mula sa Philippine artist na si Juvenal Sanso. Pinaniniwala ang may 130 pieces of Sanso si Hans sa kanyang collection. Wala man sa si siblings ang nakatungtong sa ating big 3 o sa top 3 wealthiest Filipinos, sila naman ang wealthiest family in the Philippines. With a combined net worth of $14 billion, sila rin ang 14th wealthiest family in Asia according to Bloomberg. And finally, we are entering our big three, the top of the pyramid, the 1% of the 1%. 
on our top 3 is Ramon Ang of San Miguel Corporation or SMC with $3.5 billion of net worth. Like Lucio Tan, tumaas din ang net worth ni Ramon Ang kumpara sa kanyang net worth noong 2022. From $3.4 billion ay naging $3.5 billion na nga ang estimated net worth ni Ang. It is thanks to his diversified investments in SMC. Si Ramon ang vice chairman and president ng SMC and often credited as one of the key players sa diversification ng kumpanya from beverages into banking, energy, power utility, at toll roads. At kung dati nga ay sa beverages nang gagaling ang majority o malaking kita ng kumpanya, ngayon ay sa power na at infrastructure ventures ng kumpanya ito nagmumula. Bukod sa SMC, si Ang din na nagmamayari ng Eagle Cement which is one of the largest cement companies in the Philippines. But last year, SMC acquired 92% of Eagle Cement from Ang family for the price tag of 97 billion pesos. Currently, Ramon Ang is the second highest stakeholder of SMC after Inigo Zubel. From 26% stake, 35% stake na ang hawak na shares ni Ramon Ang sa SMC. Ito ay matapos magbayad ni Ang ng 10.9 billion pesos sa parent company ng SMC na Top Frontier Investment Holdings noong nakarang taon para itaas ang shares niya sa kumpanya. Proven to be effective ang big business move na ito ni Ang. Kita naman ito sa paglago ng kanyang yaman ngayong taon. Gaya ni Ramon Ang, patuloy rin ang paglobo ng yaman ng ating second wealthiest Filipino. In fact, from 2020, steady ang upward trajectory ng kanyang net worth. Introduce Using the Philippine Ports King Enrique Ricky Razon Jr., our second wealthiest Filipino and the 224th world's richest billionaire. Ricky Razon is the chairman of the International Container Terminal Services Incorporated or ICTSI, the ninth biggest port terminal operator in the world. At siyempre, automatically, ICTSI is the biggest terminal operator here in the Philippines. Mayroon lang namang 35 terminal operations sa 19 na bansa si Razon. Sampu sa 35 terminal operations na ito ay nandito sa Pilipinas. Bukod sa pagiging Ports King, unti-unti na rin nakikilala si Razon na sa Casino King. Hindi dahil mahilig siyang magsugal o magkasino, kung hindi siya lang naman ang chairman ng Bloomberry Resort Corporation, the company behind Solaire Hotel Resort and Casino and Jeju Sun Hotel and Casino. At present, si Ricky Razon din ang chairperson ng Manila Water Company under his Prime Infra Holdings. Kasama rin sa 10 billion net worth ni Razon ang $650 million real estate asset niya sa New York, California at Pilipinas. Kasama rin dito ang tatlong private jets at two helicopters ni Razon. Kung akala nyo ay malaki na ang $10 billion net worth ni Razon, may mas malaki pang yaman dyan. At ito ay ang net worth ni former yeah, yeah, senator yeah. and real estate mogul Manny Villar. $11 billion US dollars lang naman ang estimated net worth ni Manny, making him the wealthiest Filipino and the only Filipino billionaire to make it into the Forbes 200 billionaire list. Manny Villar ranked 190th in the billionaires list from 223rd last year. Dahil ito sa paglobo ng yaman ni Villar, ayon sa report ng Inquirer, 28% ang tinaas ng yaman ni Villar. Ang yaman na ito ay mula sa Vistaland and Lifescapes kung saan si Manny Villar ang chairman and founder. Nakilala ang pamilya sa pagde-develop ng subdivisions na Camellia with over 3 300,000 homes sold in 44 provinces and 117 cities and municipalities. Bukod sa subdivisions, may condominiums na rin ang Camellia sa Manila, Batangas, Davao, Palawan at Bacolod. Of course, hindi maging successful o ganito kayaman si Manny Villar if he only have Camellia. Almost every economic demography ata ay covered ng Vista Land. Ang subsidiaries nito na Brittany at Crown Asia ay para sa mga upper at upper middle class. At kung hindi naman para sa inyo ang price bracket ng Camellia, Brittany o Crown Asia, Manny Villar have the Lumina Homes, which offers 500,000 pesos houses. Ngayon, bukod sa residential industry, pinasok na rin ni Manny Villar ang shopping mall chain, restaurant chain, at maging ang TV o media industry. Under his all-value portfolio, nandyan ang flagship stores of All Home, All Day Supermarket, Coffee Project, Bake My Day, Kinder City, and All Day Convenience Store at ang All Home Malls and Vista Malls. 
Ang Forbes Wealthiest Filipino List ay binahagi ng The Competitive Investor Channel hindi lang dahil ito ang hot topic ngayon at bigyan kayo ng kaunting kaalaman. Bagkus, dahil gusto namin na sana'y maging inspirasyon ng mga ito sa inyo that we may be as successful as them. At laging tandaan, may iba't ibang yaman sa mundo. Nandyan ang pamilya, kaibigan, at lalong-lalo na ang kalusugan. Stay safe and competitive, competitive fam! Sabay-sabay pa tayong magiging matagumpay. Bye.